All right, man. Let's talk about uh, Jay Ivey could be raised, could be rising right out the Detroit Pistons range in the 2023 draft. Now, apparently, he worked out for um, the Detroit Pistons uh, in front of a couple of Detroit Pistons the other day. I don't know the timeline. I think you sent it to me, so let me pull it up so y'all can see this. She did, she did, she did. And I think Kay Cunningham, Isaiah Stewart, and uh, uh, Dwayne Casey was there. So check out Detroit Pistons Talk playlist, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and subscribe button, hit the bell icon button, hit on notifications, increase the chance, get notifications, we go live. Or drop a video. Um, let me see if I can pull this stuff up. I guess he didn't send it. Somebody sent it to me. Let me see. Uh, oh, so they, they deleted it. Yeah, they deleted it, bro. So somebody deleted the picture. So they deleted the tweet. Basically, he's working out at Clutch Sports. Uh, Clutch Sports. Uh, Open workout, and he missed his shots. A few pistons there. I don't know if somebody deleted it though. Also, they said as well too that uh, uh, that you know, uh, well, okay, Cunningham trainer said, you know, I guess whatever workout, maybe the workout was in the picture. Said he went OD. I don't know what OD mean. I don't really know what the slang today mean like that, bro. But uh, somebody said he mean, meant good, and he was impressed with him. And I told y'all, bro, like, people don't believe. When I, say, I see somebody in the comments that said, well, we got to uh, say Malik developing. We don't need Ivy. I'd be like, bro, some of these fans is dumb as a bag of rock, box of rocks. But it says that uh, the case for against Jay Roddy. So they even talk about him going to the Rockets, bro. Uh, let me see if I can find it, bro. Uh, the article I was reading this morning. Let me see. Let me see if I can find it. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, hold on. Here we go. Yeah, I found it. So I got a, a Bleach Report article they do where they talk about BS meter. Y'all know BS meter, don't y'all? So it says BS meter for latest 2022 NBA draft. They talk about Dyson Daniels. Talking about how he really couldn't shoot and he shot pretty good in draft, but you know, he can play, make. I think they say he can play, make, defend. I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna do one on him. It's about like real soon on him. He pretty, he measures six, seven and a half in shoes. So he pretty much six, eight. Um, he like 19 years old too. So, um, yeah. So, you know, be interesting. So here we go to one we're looking at. Jay Nivey under consideration for the House of Rockets at three. Said, why it looks like Jabari Smith during your chat home for Paolo Brancho will be the top three player off the board. Could Ivy jump past one of the elite big men, the star guard from Purdue is prime candidate to go number four overall to the Sacramento Kings, whoever picks in that spot, but more that uh more on that later. However, projecting him to go higher seems unlikely for teams like the Orlando Magic, Oklahoma City Thunder, Houston Rockets, who all spent the top six pick on guards last year. Right? And the Kings, they just took Davion Mitchell too. So, I mean. Come on. Adding even more offensive firehards apparently on the table for Houston. He has been Jonathan Givney, right? Ivy Kennedy is also under consideration here as an idea of construction, arguably the most explosive backward NBA said to be intriguing rock and brass. So I would I wouldn't draw any of these idiots to do this. <laughs> I wouldn't add it. After taking shooting guard Jalen Green with the second overall pick in 2021 with another ball dominant young wing and Kevin Porter Jr., who they're trying to be a point guard. Ivy definitely doesn't seem to be the best fit for the Rockets team that could uh, use more front court help. Christian Wood is on the final year of his contract, leaving the second year center Alperian synagogue as a long big bin building block. Houston should take whoever's left between Smith, Holmes, and Barancho and pass on Ivy and stay. And I don't really think Paulo Barancho fit what they do. He he's he, part of his game is playing with the ball and making something happen. Yeah, he can post up and catch a shoot and all that, but. Part of his game is uh is uh is doing that. It says BS meter high. Ivy doesn't fit an already guard heavy roster. Houston, so 
Yeah, we calling the BS, the BS meter on that. So, like I said before, John Wall still on contract. Uh, uh, Jay Nivy, I mean not Jay Nivy, uh, Kevin Porter, Jalen Green. You know, they need a pure point guard. Maybe Ricky Rubio can stabilize down there just for a little bit. That's what I'm thinking. But, um, you know, just my opinion, right? So, then you go Piston Rumor, Detroit Detroit loves Jay and Ivy Head, 2-22 NBA draft. And, of course, you should. You know, it's common sense, but it's only one couple built blocks around that, the number four pick. What Sacramento gonna do? Are they gonna trade it? Was Houston, Oklahoma City, Thunder, or Orlando be dumb enough to take Jaden Ivy that high? That's the question. So, mm hmm, mm hmm. But you know, Pistons could move on that fourth pick. To be honest, they could. You know, uh, you're looking at the roster. You say, well, what could they do? Obviously, it's gonna start with Jimmy Grant. You know, um, you know, maybe they look at Isaiah Stewart. Obviously, they sent this Bagley. I think they like the Kelly Olynyk. At this point, anybody can go. To be honest, because I, because I like Sadiq Bay. People gonna sit here and say, man, you crazy. But I'm just saying, he ain't fitting under Dwayne Casey. He ain't fitting. I wouldn't mind dumping him, Jeremy Grant. I mean, you probably get Sadiq Bay for the fourth pick. And Luca Garza, you could turn around and flip Jeremy Grant if you want to. But I don't really see the chemistry between Jeremy Grant, Sadiq Bay, and Kay Cunningham. I think, you know, but if you remove Jeremy Grant, then I think the chemistry between Kay and him would get better. But then if you add Jay Nivey, how would that look for Sadiq Bay? I don't know. But like I said before, I mean, they got options at the wings. With that three spot, if they get four and five, they will have options. They got options, to be honest. Uh, you know, uh, obviously they get four and five. You go Ivy at five. You, have, I think they would go big fella at five. But you have some money, but in my opinion, you don't have to spend that money right now. But, um, but like I said before, um, they like Sadiq Bay. You gotta find a better way to implement them. And I'm just that's all I'm saying. But, but I don't know how you get the four pick. It had to take a future first, and then you're willing to gamble future first on four and five. You know, I don't know. But if you was going to take Jeremy Grant, Kelly Olenek, and you were going to sweeten the pot, I don't know what else would sweeten the pot outside of Sadiq Bay. But like I said before, uh, you know, in that scenario, some people like A.J. Griffin, i seen him work out when he shot the lights out, dribbled it pretty well, stretched the floor, get to the rack. But, um, but yeah, of course, you know, of course, who wouldn't be? It says David Aldridge, uh, David Aldridge spoke. Executive from the Eastern Conference, who said Detroit loves Audrey Audrey quoted a college uh, assistant whose team faced off against Ivy and Purdue, and the coach drew parallels between six four guard and Russell Westbrook. If people could lose what they've seen for Westbrook and how they feel about Russell, Ivy is very similar. He's downhill. He's a tough point guard. Uh, against us, he beat us from the free throw line. He got downhill. He can create a lot of fouls just because his athleticism. I think he's got a lot to work to do as a point guard, but I think his upside is really good from what I hear. He works his tail off. So, I me mean, as a point guard, I mean, it's not too many traditional point guards left. You got Rubio, Rajon Rondo. Um, it's not a traditional point guard in today's NBA Finals. Luka Doncic is not a traditional point guard. Miami don't have a traditional point guard. Kyle Lowry's more of a three-point shooter. He's not somebody that can crave for somebody else. Uh, Milwaukee don't have a traditional point guard. Drew Holiday. You know, he's a good defender, but he's more the combo guard. Uh, Brooklyn don't have a traditional point guard in Kyrie Irving. He's a, he's a scorer. Um, who else we got? Uh, only traditional guard, point guard out there that's, that I could think of is Ben Simmons, Ricky Rubio, Rajon Rondo, um, Josh Giddy. Um, I'm just, just – DeJounte Murray. It's, it, it, I mean, you're lucky if you find 10 prominent ones, to be honest. You're lucky if you find 10 prominent, those type of those type of guys. Chris Paul, obviously, you know, but it, it's, it's scarce. So, I mean, but like I said before, I don't see Westbrook. I see what they're saying, but I don't, he can shoot way better than Westbrook. 
and he said it best. He beat us from the free throw line. Whenever Russell Westbrook ever beat anybody from the free throw line. So, like I said, I know they see in athleticism, the way he get downhill and all that. Yeah, but he does it. Westbrook played with more power. He, I don't know. I can't explain it, bro. But I know he said you got to race what you've seen. But Westbrook ain't the greatest free throw shooter and in, in, in whatever. He seemed to be more calculated than him, a better shooter than him. That he seemed like coming to the league, he's a better shooter than he ever been. Um, well, that's just my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Parts of his game, but he way more patient. But we'll see, man. An open NBA game help him. It's a lot of just different prospects that uh that fit the bill for the Pistons, dog. It's a lot of ones that, that that fit the bill for them, man. So only time will tell. Um but it's a lot of them that fit the bill. It's a lot of good ones there, man. And you got a lot, I think a lot of them, they a lot of things that that projection, that's what kind of like change everybody opinion you know they always said he's the top five players in the draft and nobody really think outside the box only a few uh only a few players do a few uh gms do um but you know like i said before i said coming in he's my number one guy i seen so i ain't much change between there i really ain't looked at the top three guys like that but uh But like I said, I like what I seen from him. So um yeah, they right, but you know, let's think about the fit. I mean, sometimes you gotta make it fit. Him and K if they can coexist. The reason Killian and K could coexist is because Killian can't do nothing other but defend a little bit. You don't stretch the floor, he can't slash, you know. So as a point guard, you know, do you want to turn him into a traditional point guard? That's how they messed up Rodney Stuckey. Do you want to turn him as a traditional point guard? I mean, yeah. You work his tail off, it can happen, but you got to be open-minded. But like I said, there ain't too many traditional point guards left. Man. A lot of your guys that, that are the point guards of the teams like Draymond, Brandon Ingram, you know what I'm saying, guys like that, man. But, hey, the wings that's playing point guard, they got better point guard skills than most of the point guards. But, hey, let me know what you girls and guys think. I mean, I think you could say James Harden is playing more of a traditional point guard now. He looking to pass more than in the past. He in the past he looking more to to score. But uh, check out Detroit Piston Talk playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. The subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance of notification. We go live with the video. Financial and support the channel. Cash out. Dollar sign. CJ Good three one three. Venmo CJ Good three one three. PayPal link in the description. Um, yeah. Outside of that, man. Uh, find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. If you have business question, inquiry, response, or video request. Appreciate the love support. Let me know what you guys, guys think in the comment section. Peace.